हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज क्लास सेवन बायोलॉजी लेसन टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन फ्रॉम दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न मीनिंग ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन एडवांटेजेस ऑफ क्लासिफाइड लिविंग थिंग्स टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन जनरल प्लान ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन साइंटिफिक नेम्स ऑफ सम प्लान्स एंड एनिमल्स सो फॉर दिस वी विल बी लुकिंग फॉर सम डेफिनेशन क्लासिफिकेशन बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन टैक्सोनॉमी एंड टैक्सोनॉमिस्ट सो नंबर वन क्लासिफिकेशन मीन्स टू सॉर्ट और कैटेगराइज थिंग्स इन टू ग्रुप्स सो इन डे टू डे लाइफ वी कैन एबल टू कैटेगराइज मेनी थिंग्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सुपर मार इन सुपर मार्केट वी कैन एबल टू कैटेगराइज द थिंग्स वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स स्पाइसिस सीरियल्स एंड पल्सिस सो लाइक दैट मेनी एरियाज इन लाइब्रेरी ऑल्सो वी कैन एबल टू कैटेगराइज मेनी ऑफ द बुक्स इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर सब्जेक्ट्स सो लाइक दैट बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन मीन्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स putting in different groups and subgroups based on similarities in their characteristics so we will be looking for the taxonomy and the taxonomist taxonomy is one of the branch of biology which deals with systematically classifying the living things based on their similarities in their structure and origin and this particular structure and origin and the similarities of the organisms the person who studies the person is known as taxonomist and this taxonomy and taxonomist is well it is useful under the classification that we study so the advantages of the biological classification advantages of the biological classification are many number one is it is easy to identify all the categories classification is helping us to identify a new organism and also placing it into a particular group also and classification is also helping to get overview of the characteristics of a particular group of organisms so that one does not need to memorize the characteristics of each type of organism in that particular group it gives a clear idea about the evolution of organisms from a simple form to more complex one and it is also establish the relationship between the different living things so under this different different classifications of the theories are given to an idea so we will be looking for this idea to know that different systems of classification different systems of classification in our lesson it is given two types of classifications one is king two kingdom classification and other one is five kingdom classification and this two kingdom classification and five kingdom classification when we will study before that we will be looking for different systems of the classification that it is based on the habits habitats mode of reproduction and other features of the organisms aristotle a greek greek philosopher was the first to classify the animals based on their simple visible characters which characters are very much visible to the eye according to them he has classified and their mode of reproduction covering up their body that is the hard or soft and mode of reproduction laying eggs or giving birth to the young individuals and the presence or absence of the red color blood so this is one of the difference of the classification and theophrastus a follower and successor of aristotle classified plants on the basis of size into herbs shrubs and the shrubs and trees also so the above mentioned methods of classification based on visible characteristic features of the some of the organisms will not be suitable to every particular organism for an example that based on the presence of wings birds and insects can be categorized under the same group but they are very different in their own characters similarly rose plant and fern plants also categorized under the same group but based on their size they are very different to each other so after that we will be looking for the two kingdom classification two kingdom classification it is well given for the two kingdoms only that is kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia and it is given by the swedish botanist named carlos linnaeus proposed the more scientific method of the classification under two groups that is plantae and animalia including that prepared plants which are there they are preparing their own food and they are very much autotrophic they cannot move and animalia they are 
they cannot able to prepare their own food they can move from one place to another and each group was further divided into some subgroups and so on so that this subgroups which are given those are the <coughs> lowest rank had organisms with most features in the common then arch bitaker is given 1969 proposed one more division under the living organism that is five kingdom classification under this five kingdom classification he had made uh, five divisions of the organisms number one is the monera kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plantae kingdom animalia so out of these five categories first category which one is the kingdom monera they are completely unicellular and body is made up of one cell and no cells the well defined nucleus and their cell wall is also present outer covering of the cell wall is also present autotrophic in nature and some very rare cases that it was found that heterotrophic also they were found so best example is bacteria under this group and he has also given some of the bacteria of the kinds that is the long rod shaped bacteria bacillus spherical shaped bacteria cocci and spiral shaped bacteria spirilla and common shaped bacteria vibrio and some bacteria also they have the flagella now come to the second category that is the protista protista are unicellular and they are eukaryotic in nature so that they have the well defined nucleus is present and few organisms only autotrophic but maximum they are heterotrophic in nature and they move with the help of special structures in their body examples are given under this they are the diatoms euglena and paramecium amoeba and diatoms and euglena given as autotrophic paramecium amoeba are given as the heterotrophic and they are having a very fine protoplasmic extensions are known as the cilia and this cilia they are getting to be a one of the locomotory organ flagella pseudopodia cilia like locomotory organs are present in this particular group of the organisms and we will be looking to the third category is the kingdom fungi fungi are the non green organisms with cells having well defined nucleus and except yeast yeast is the unicellular fungus and cell wall is made up of a substance called chitin and fungi depend on the other organisms for food that means they are completely heterotrophic the body of this multicellular fungus is known as mycelium and thread like structures are made in the body they are known as the hyphae under this group some examples are also given that is mucor penicillium and rhizopus so out of this monera protista fungi these all are the very primitive type of and very minute structures and look into the next fourth one that is the kingdom plantae these are multicellular autotrophic in nature presence of chlorophyll is there and cell wall is made up of cellulose also and kingdom plantae is subdivided into some different other classes that is thallophytes bryophytes teratophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms and this all we will discuss in the later on classes later on lesson and kingdom animalia is the last one of the five kingdom classification it is based on the animals multicellular heterotrophic in nature and absence of the cell wall cell membrane is only present in the body of the cell and kingdom animalia is further divided into two different categories that is the vertebrates presence of the backbone and invertebrates absence of the backbone so including all these animals human beings belong to this particular animalia kingdom okay then next we will be looking for the general plan of classification
question number 2 fill in the blanks that is a number 1 dash gave 2 kingdom classification carnus linius b 5 kingdom classification was proposed by r h vitakar c number organisms of kingdom monera have cells without a well defined nucleus d number amoeba moves with the help of pseudopodia e in kingdom plant the cell wall is made up of cellulose F special structures for movement of in paramecium are called cilia. Number G organisms of kingdom fungi have cell wall made up of chitin. H number living things that belongs to a particular kingdom are further divided into dash that is phyla. True false also I have done. Solve for you. Number A each class is further grouped into different orders that is true. B number kingdom is the smallest rank of taxonomy, smallest term we can eliminate to write that highest so that statement is false. So number C organisms of kingdom plant are heterotrophic. This statement is also false so that we will correct it. Kingdom plant we will eliminate and we will write kingdom animalia. D number kingdom protista has unicellular organism that lack of well defined nucleus. So this statement is also false we will write kingdom. Protista is given that we will replace and write kingdom monera. Homo sapiens is the scientific name of cat that is also false. We will eliminate the cats and we will write human. Plants that bear rose like flowers are grouped under the family rosacea. Last statement is perfectly correct. And the group of animals that give birth to young ones is grouped under the young one is grouped under the mammalia is also true statement. <laughs> So, question number 4 is given differentiate between the following 2 kingdom and 5 kingdom classification. Here we will write 2 points that is 2 kingdom classification first point will be who has proposed that one that is proposed one is 2 kingdom classification that is Carlos Linnaeus and 5 kingdom classification proposed by R. H. V. Tucker. and second point we will write the different divisions under this group two kingdom classification having two divisions five kingdom classification is having five divisions each and every division name is also to be represented so that your second point will be complete then come to the b number question that is kingdom monera and kingdom protista and you can able to pause your video you can see that i have written three three points for each case they are unicellular prokaryotes protista they are unicellular eukaryotes they have cell wall but lack of or absence of well defined nucleus. They have well uh, developed and both cell wall and nucleus present. Membrane bound organelles are absent in case of the monera. Membrane bound organelles are present in case of the protista. So that I have written three points for this. And remaining two are also given genus and species, kingdom, phyla, kingdom and phylum. Children, I have written for you and you can able to. Pause the video and you can able to see this. So, in each case, genus and species, two two points, and kingdom and phylum, I have written one one point for each case. So that your differences almost I have completed for you. And answer finding the questions that is a brief, which one is given, those are very direct questions. And question number six, answer the following questions in detail. Those are as these you will be writing the characteristic features of the animalia, fungi and general plan of the classification in which way I showed you like that you will write and classification and the advantages of the classification completely you can able to write from the book. The different statements are given, the some points are given at least 4 to 5 points will be going to include in your copy. Okay, thank you very much and look into the lesson. Just go with the lesson completely and solve these answers. Maximum answers I have solved. A few answer questions I left for you. And please try to do it. Okay.